hello my gorgeous friends on the internet how are you all doing okay so today we are going to be looking at how we can implement inactivity timeout in our flutter application so i'm not going to uh, waste time on this video because it's going to be a short one so as you can see on my right is a screen uh, running it's an app a blocker app okay you can also find it on, on play store so if you select guest okay and select continue this is more like the welcome screen right the first page you see when you come to the app so when you press continue uh, it's going to take you to the main screen right which is the home page all right in your own uh, application it might be anything right then the welcome screen which i showed you before let me log out so the welcome screen which i showed you before can be your or login screen your authentication screen or whatever okay so what we are going to do now is once users are logging into the app okay and they are inactive for like 30 seconds or 40 seconds without pressing any button or doing any action we are going to automatically pop them and then take them back to we're going to log them from the app and then take them back to the screen right so fast uh no need to wash uh, this is the welcome screen and this is the account screen so quickly what we can do you can see here this is an ongoing project already so i won't be explaining what all these files does because you already have your own project right so what i'm going to do inside my utils where i have my utils i'm going to create a listener more like a section timeout listener okay that we're going to wrap our widget with to be listening to those events so what i'm going to do here i'm going to create a file called i'll create a file called section oops. so this is going to be section uh listener dot that right so inside here i'm going to create a stateful widget okay because I want to handle all the logic inside this class, right? And then wrap it inside of our widget. So we have a section uh, timeout listener. Okay. And why we have this, I'm also going to create, I'm going to create some parameters, a constructor actually, that we will need. Uh, so I'll need to pass in, the, once we call this uh, listener, I'm going to, passing the widget which is the child because we're going to wrap it inside we're going to wrap uh wrap it on top of our material app okay so i have a widget as child i also have a duration which is more like you specifying how long you want uh the timeout inactivity timeout to last before pushing the user out and then we have a void callback okay and i can call this one on timeout so once the there's an there's a timeout uh, let's say the duration has elapsed then users need to like uh get their response from this on timeout and then they can do anything they want to do more like navigating outside the screen and doing anything they want okay so i'm going to create a constructor quickly all right cool so now that we have this, uh, what I need to do now is to return a listener here, okay? But first, what I want to do, let me just return, I uh, think it's more like uh, return widget.child, right? Which is this child here, which is a widget, right? Okay, cool. So next thing I want to do now is to create the listeners. Um, I'm going to be using, uh, what is it called? I'm going to be using a timer for this, okay? So initially, I'm going to create a null timer because we'll be using timer to count down, right? Okay, so while we have that, I'm going to have a function called start timer, okay? So it's going to be like a start timer or start timeout or yeah, let's just use timer, okay? So inside here now, I'm going to have a, I'm just going to check if uh, the timer is not null. So if the timer is not known, what we want to do is to cancel it, okay? Because once the user taps, we need to reset the timer, right? So once we call start timer, if the timer is not null, that means it's already counting down. We just have to like cancel it and then start it again with the duration that we specified, okay? So what we can do here is to say, if timer, okay, is not equal to null, right? So what I want to do is to call timer.cancel and I can still set it to null if I want okay all right so while we have that the next thing I want to do now is to initialize the timer 
okay so i will quickly come here and say timer equal to timer right and i will specify the duration the duration will be coming from this constructor here so we can do access this using widget dot duration right so why we have that once the duration has elapsed okay i can just print something here and say uh, elapsed okay and here now i can just say or i can also have another uh, test here to know when the stuff has started so i'll just say timer reset okay then right here what i'm going to do once the timer elapses, i'm going to return this callback which is widget dot timeout okay i'm just going to call it and return it to any to the widget that is listening to it okay and once we do that we are good to go right so the next thing i want to do now is to create once uh user starts your app the countdown starts immediately okay so in that case i'm going to be using a void callback uh, an init state sorry okay so inside the init state i'm going to be calling the start timer okay and also on dispose method i'm going to be setting once there's a dispose method i'm going to be canceling the timer and also remove it so i just have to check if uh timer is null or not okay to be safe right so if timer is not equal to null we just have to call timer.cancel and set timer to false okay to avoid some form of uh, memory leak and all that so once we have that the next thing i want to do now is to go ahead and wrap our widget right but this is not it because we need to be able to listen to when user taps in our screen anywhere in the app okay so in that case what i'm going to do I'll remove this guy so I'll be wrapping this guy with a listing around okay so inside the listing that we have a property called child right this now has a child so in that case we'll be returning the widget dot child okay and listener also has on pointer down okay that is going to listen to any point or touch event throughout our application okay and this will make it not to affect any other thing right so once we have on pointer down what i'm going to do is to start timer okay since i will not be using this event i will just set it like this okay and so to make it translucent sense so it will affect other uh, gesture detector throughout the app or other listeners i'm going to be adding a behavior for it and i'll call this hit behavior or translucent okay so you can go ahead and you know experiment with your pack uh, but i've not tried that so i'm going to stick with translucent so this is pretty much how our uh session timer looks like i'm um, not too much here so once you created this you can just put it in your utils folders or wherever you want to put it and that's it so what we can do is to go to our main dot dash right now and if you notice i have a provider right i also have a material app so what i'm going to do i'm going to wrap this guy with a section timer listener right and i'm going to specify the duration so i want this to be like I want this to be to last like uh, 30 seconds and i also want to set uh on timeout callback so once there's a timeout okay we can just print uh timeout okay because inside here you cannot directly call contest it will throw some error okay because it will say like uh you're trying to access contest in a widget uh, that does not have any contest right so that would show an error which is not uh, really a good practice okay so what you want to do in this case uh let's say in our case we will try to like navigate out of the screen which is like popping the widget. okay so it's going to throw error so let's try to do that first directly uh let's try to you know log out and then call in this guy so Okay, instead of logging out let me uh call this guy first uh, so what i'm going to do now i'm going to go back to my main dot that so inside here if i try to call this method there will be some errors but i'm going to show you the error soon uh and i'll also show you how to solve that okay so yeah just save it it takes you to this screen right and the inactivity is around 30 seconds so i'm going to click on guest and go to the screen so if you notice there was a time reset callback so if you notice here we have timer reset right which is this so if i tap on anywhere in the screen you can see timer reset is being called so once it's called this guy returns to null and the timer starts again whatever place i click if i click on any button 
okay it's also called timer reset if i click here you can see it's actually increasing and whenever i click timer reset is calling right so this is more like a cool one you can see timer reset any button i press whether a dialogue or whatever okay so everything just works very well and uh yeah so that's pretty much it but another thing again uh so yeah that's it um once we click on any icon it just resets and now let me leave it for 30 seconds and see what happens all right so after 30 seconds we were able to get this timeout message this elapsed message right elapsed and we just on timeout was called and when we called it we now received this uh output timeout if you notice here there was a there's an error when we try to go navigator dot push uh so it was saying navigator pressure requested with the contest that does not include a navigator so to fix this what we are going to do inside here we are going to create a navigator key a global navigator key okay that we we'll use so in that case i'm going to create a nav key okay and it's going to be a global key that will just give us access to the contest, right? So that will be a nice one. So I just have a navigator, navigator key. Uh, I think navigator state, something like that. So we have navigator state. All right. So once you have that, we are going to. Okay, what am I having? Okay. Okay, so we have the navigator state. So this nav key now, I'm going to uh, wrap, put it into our material app because I think it has a nav key. So I'm just going to set it here. Cool. So once that is set, the next thing we want to do now, instead of accessing this context directly, we are going to be accessing it from this nav key. So I can do nav key dot current state dot contest. Oops. Cool. So why that is there? okay i can go ahead and you know restart let me just log out completely okay okay we start the app here all right cool i can log in now okay into the app so we have the callback time research right so now i'm going to leave it for that 30 seconds to see what happens All right, you can see after the 30 seconds, we got the timeout message and automatically we were logged out from the app. Okay. And if you notice, there was no error, like a contest error or whatever. So this is how you fix it. Okay. So I've been using this so far uh, in one app like that that I built and it was amazing. So there was no uh, issue. So I have not really encountered any issues yet. But if I have any issues, uh, I'm going to create another video, you know, and tell you guys what i encountered and how i was able to solve it okay and also if you want to explore more i think there's a package on I think there's a package online too that you can work with i think that's more like uh it's a section timeout kind of thing but i didn't i've not really tried it okay but you can still check it out if you want to explore more i think local section timeout and to just give you a ui and you know you can just handle everything more like a stream that listens to when the timer is off so you can see how to you can also stop the timer you can start the timer okay so you can just give this a try whichever one works for you okay i'm just you know <laughs> more like telling you guys what has worked for me so i've been using this one and it has been great if i have any issues i'm going to let you guys know okay so thank you so much for watching this video i'm going to see you guys in the next uh, video okay uh do not forget to subscribe do not forget to like share and give a thanks if you like this video all right see you guys later